Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be unboxing this two-in-one travel crib and bassinet. I've actually got this from my cousin from my baby shower and I am so excited because it's a travel size. I know we're not gonna be traveling in this pandemic anytime soon, but this is actually smaller than the last time I had it and it's, oh, newborn's up to three years old. That means Verdana could sit here. It's hypoallergenic material, so it's safe. Here's one tip that I would like to give first time moms that I made a mistake. And I'm thinking I might make a video about this because I wanna say I made a lot of mistakes being a first time mom. I feel like one of the things is, if you, you know, if you live in a small place, apartment or something, it's better to get, just get like a pack and play instead of a big old crib. And when you're a first time mom, you think you need to get everything, like all the big stuff and everything, but no, you really don't. I actually use, my friend actually gave me a hand-me-down of a pack and play that I've used the whole time, way more times than my crib that I have over here. I actually just started using it and I made it into like an extension of my bed because my three-year-old still sleeps with us. When we're in bed, we put her in the crib and so it seems like she's in the bed also. So, I mean, I guess there are some useful stuff with the big, um, big crib, but if you have a small space and you don't really wanna, you know, you don't have enough space. And if you don't wanna spend the money if you're buying it yourself, then it's better to just get a pack and play way cheaper you could fold it up and you could just this is really light to carry in and out of the rooms and you could also get a smaller bassinet thing but this is for what till newborn till three years old so so that's my tip skip the big crib and get one of these one of the reasons why I didn't really use the big crib is because it's made out of wood and uh, you know, kids tend to bump their face all the time and Verdana, when she was little, she would hit her face on it and it would, she would cry all the time and I don't want her hurting herself. So let's move on and unbox this. Okay, I already opened it already. I opened the box but I haven't pulled it out yet, so let's do that. And this was from my Amazon baby sh uh, baby registry. So if you are interested, I can put the link down below, and you can put that in your registry or buy it. It's pretty light. Look at it. Let me get up. See, pretty light. And it already has a little bag, so... Before this pandemic, we would travel a lot. Okay, so... See, I could carry it. And I'm what? Am I eight months pregnant? Eight, nine? Maybe I'll show you setting it up. Let's see how easy it is. You said it's pretty easy. So this is the padding. Regardless can't really wash this but I like to disinfect everything so it comes with that I think it comes with its own little cover okay. here are some what are these called that's the bag put the bag over here and this is the whole thing so let's see I don't know if you can see it from all of my can you see I'm working with a small space right now. So let's push it back so you can see everything. So just open it this way, okay. Pretty easy, pretty easy. All right, so what? Okay, so I'm, look at that bad boy. You see it? It's pretty easy I, and I love how this has like a little opening. So when, you know, we're playing around and stuff, I just have it open. 
this is what I'm gonna be using the little bassinet holder oh so the care the maintenance you could actually take it out take this whole thing out and wash it nice because my friend already gave me a bassinet like I think it was ripping by the time I was done so that's why I got a new one and I that one was the bigger one so this one is actually a smaller size than my last one because you know I kind of don't don't want it to take up too much space so I figured out what these are for <laughs> and so this is for the support beam for the bassinet and so we're gonna put it in this way so if I could do this you could do this and they have a little hole right here that in there and then you put this over so let me take let me put the other one on first and you can actually just fold this move it to the side so here's the top view of the vest um the crib and then we're gonna add the little bass net there we go oh, look at me dropping everything you just kind of use this and hook it in the little poles. Slides right through. Okay. Pretty easy to assemble. Here we go. Let me just add this. And ready for the new baby. So simple. Space saving also. I think this is a cover for it, which I am going to wash before I put it in. I'm going to disinfect everything. Okay, guys. That was my unboxing and assembling the two-in-one crib with the bassinet. I hope you enjoyed my video. Let me know. I will, I will come up with some um, mom videos since I've had a few requests that asked me to do it. So I'll do that. But that's all I have for you guys today. Please let me know. Comment down below. Like this page. Share. You know. It'll be nice to get um, support. Tell your mama, tell your friends, tell your daddy, tell everybody. <laughs> so, yeah, that was kind of weird. But, so if you want, you could press on that bell to be notified for my new videos that come up. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.